This is question 2019. This is question five in the restricted answer. The combustion reactions of methane and heptane can be studied in different ways. The combustion of methane produces carbon dioxide and water vapour when carried out at temperatures above 100 degrees C. You're given the equation. Using bond enthalpies and mean bond en enthalpies from the data book, calculate the enthalpy change in kilojoules per mole for this reaction. I have obviously just over here pulled, it, pulled out the whole thing. Right, I personally find it nice to draw out the bonds just so I am clear on what I'm doing. So I am going to break all of these. And then after I finish breaking all of these, I'm going to make one of these, or well, two of these, in the carbon dioxide, and I'm going to make two waters. So I'm going to make four of those. Okay, you you know that you've got to break and then make, so it's a plus and then a minus, and then you just add them up. Okay, so I have got four carbon to hydrogen, carbon to hydrogen over here, 412. So four of them is 1,648. I've got two O to O, O to O over here in the 498, so that's 996. Means that to break all those bonds, I will require 2,644 kilojoules. Okay, on the make side, I am going to do two carbon to oxygen, okay? My um, carbon to oxygen over here at 743, so that's 1486. And my oxygen to hydrogen is, oh, where are we going? Oxygen to hydrogen, 463 here. So 1852. Add all that up means that this formation of these bonds releases 3338. Add these two together, gives me a total of minus. 694 kilojoules per mole. Oh, per mole. That's it. Okay, explain the difference between bond enthalpy and mean bond enthalpy. Right, because you have these two different ones in the data book, bond and mean bond. Okay, so mean is an average. So what you need to, to basically say is that mean is an average across all different compounds and environments. Okay, um, feel free to, to draw something if that helps you, you know, so you could say that you could have the O to H bond in methanol um, will have a very slightly different bond enthalpy than the O to H bond in ethanol. The mean would be the average between these and across every other compound. Okay, the, the bond enthalpy, plain and simple, is that specific bond in only that environment because it only exists in that environment. So really what we're looking at, at is in diatomics um, and it is, so therefore, one environment. And again, I would be tempted to take an example. So the hydrogen to hydrogen bond only exists as hydrogen to hydrogen in the diatomic H2, okay? Okay, part three, calculate the mass in grams of carbon dioxide produced by combustion of 200 centimetres cubed of methane in excess oxygen. Take the volume of one mole of methane gas to be 24 litres. Okay, you could do this several ways. Um, I realised after I'd worked it, actually, I could have done this by proportion, but the way I did it was moles is volume divided by molar volume. Okay, our volume is 0 0.2 of... Uh, methane, uh, divided by the molar volume, which is 24, uh, 0 0.008, so that's how many moles of uh, methane I have, and that's a one-to-one -one for carbon dioxide, so that's pretty straightforward, um, I've got 0 0.008 carbon dioxide, moles, sorry, mass is moles divided by, see it the other way around, Moles is mass divided by formula mass, so therefore mass is moles times formula mass. Um, so 0 0.008 times 44 is 0 0.37 grams. Um, obviously, just to be clear, that's 1, that's 2, 12, and 16. So that's 12 and 32, giving you 44 for your formula mass of carbon dioxide. Um, but you're also given it over here. Just didn't notice that one. Um, but I would expect you to be able to know that. You do it so often. Okay. Uh, enthalpy of combustion of heptane. 
C7H16 can be determined using calorimeter. You have a little picture of this one. Okay. Following results were obtained. Uh, mass of heptane burned, the mass of one mole of heptane, volume of water, initial and final. Okay. State the measurements required to calculate the mass of heptane burned in this experiment. This one's kind of okay, right? So this is just the um so this is the weight of the burner. So I need the burner mass before and after the heating. That's it. Uh, calculate the enthalpy combustion in kilojoules per mole for heptane from the experimental results given. Okay, it's three marks, but to be honest, if you're following a propo uh, if you're following the setup and running a proportion, it doesn't look like it always. So, but you're right. <laughs> Basically, have a little bit of faith. Okay, so delta H is cm delta T. My C is 1.48 from the back of the data book. My mass, mass of water, being very, very careful here. Okay, 0 0.4. And the temperature is my temperature change here, 26, um, going up to, oh, 26 to 49. Um, so we've got 23 temperature change, uh, which means that I have a delta H at 38.456. Now this is just kilojoules associated 1.1 grams of heptane, and then just do proportion. Okay, so 1.1 grams of heptane gave me 38.456 kilojoules of energy. If I have 100 grams, which is my mass of one mole, so 100 divided by 1.1 times by 38.456 gives me minus 3496 kilojoules per mole. You need that minus because it was released energy because the temperature went up. Okay, and that's it. For three marks, that's what you're looking for. The theoretical value for the enthalpy of combustion of heptane is significantly higher than the experimental value. Suggest why the experimental value is different to theoretical. I'm expecting you to write heat loss to surroundings. I mean, even though they had that draft shield in there, that's not going to stop there you heating the air and other things. And if you said it was heat loss to heating the container, that also would be fine. If you said that you had incomplete combustion of the heptane, um, if you said that there was evaporation loss of the heptane, so it wasn't actually burning, but you were still losing that mass, all of that was good. But that heat loss to surroundings is your standard answer that I'm expecting you to use. Um, and that's the question.